Hello, and thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Um, today is just a really kind of gloomy, cozy day. And um, this is something I've been putting off for a while. We're gonna go ahead and declutter as much of the house as we can. We're absolutely doing the basement. Um, it is bad. <laughs> it is like, just honestly, I get overwhelmed every time I go down there and I just woke up a couple days ago just like really overwhelmed by the amount of things in my house and I was like, okay, we need to declutter. We need to get some of this stuff out. And this is also in preparation for a project that we're gonna do in the storage part of the basement. And we're hopefully gonna do that in a few months, maybe around the beginning of next year. The goal is to build shelves in there, get some organization, and then be able to move a lot of the things that we're storing in the finished part of the basement into the actual storage part of the basement so we can better utilize that space. So before we can even think about starting a project like that, we definitely need to declutter and move some stuff out. So I will show you guys just how bad it is. Hopefully we can move through a lot today and just feel a lot in a much better headspace. So this is what we're working with in our basement. We have quite a few things that really should be in the unfinished part of the basement, but because that's full and this is full, stuff's just all over the place. So my main goal for today is to get my desk really cleared up and just, yeah, throw away as much stuff as possible, organize things <laughs> as best as I can. Um, and then, I don't know, I don't know, maybe we'll be able to pull some stuff out of there as well so that we can put some stuff back in there. We'll see. So this is the progress so far. You can actually see like some of my desk, which is good. Um, and we have this trash bag almost full. And then we also have all of this that we're getting rid of as well. And then just some stuff to relocate. So I know it doesn't, it still doesn't look like we've done that much, but a lot of what I did was going through the papers and these binders and stuff. So slow moving process, but we'll probably have to be done for now. Maybe we'll try to do a little bit more tonight. And if not, then maybe tomorrow. So it is a new day and I'm decluttering again. Um, my goal today is just to kind of get everything cleared off my desk. Now, obviously, like there's all this stuff, um, like these boxes and bins and Ziploc bags full of my homeschool material. And then I have like empty binders underneath my desk and different like keepsakes and things. All of that is going to have to stay, unfortunately, until we do our project in the storage part of the basement where I'm going to be able to like have a section for my homeschool stuff. But until then, it's just going to stay here. Um, but I'm just going to try to like clear out everything I can. I already went through, I have another set of plastic drawers like tucked behind my desk. I already went through that. I, I went through it relatively recently. Um, and so there was nothing to get rid of out of there, but I will go through all these, look in these drawers again, like the, most of the stuff I put in there, I just put in recently, but I'll look through that. And then other than that, I think I'm going to just go ahead and move into the storage part and see what I can either consolidate or get rid of. But anyways, that's not even what I jumped on here to tell you. I So I have this planner that I got for last academic school year. And I was like flipping through and I was like, oh, you know, like I can actually keep some of these. They have like dividers for each month. And I was like, I could keep some of these and you know, use, cause it's like thicker paper. I was like, I could use it for, you know, cut out part of it, use it for a greeting card or for like a craft or something, you know, just like have 
patterned construction paper. You pay a fortune for this kind of stuff. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just keep that. And then I was like, or I could just like three hole punch them and use them for like the month dividers in my homeschool binder. So I don't have to make my own. Like I already paid for these. And so then I was like, that's a great idea. And then I was flipping through and found these like, I think it's supposed to be like an attendance sheet, but I thought it would actually be cool to keep track of how many hours uh, you have to keep track of how many hours you're homeschooling your kid to keep up, like to make sure you're like homeschooling them legally or whatever. I don't know all the details, but I just know you have to keep track of hours. So I was like, okay, maybe I could use that for that. Anyway, I ended up tearing a bunch of the papers out and then I looked at the cover and I was like, I probably could have just used this as my monthly binder and like kept all of these in but I don't know how to like make paper to have this edge so I thought about it and I'm not going to do that but what I did decide I'm going to do is these gold rings in here let me see if I can get one out I'm going to throw all of this paper away. Like I used it all for the last academic year. I, you know, I use the calendars and stuff <clears throat> and it's outdated anyways. Like it's for the year um, 2022 to 2023. So I have to throw it all away anyway. But these little gold rings is what's holding it together. And <laughs> okay, don't judge me. I, I like to keep little things like this for sensory bins for my daughter. And I thought like, oh, that would be cute as like a little Valentine sensory bin you know, has a little heart in it. So I think I'm going to keep all of these little gold rings. I'm going to tear them all out of here and keep them with her sensory stuff. I don't know. I don't know if this is like normal of <laughs> other moms who do sensory bins and stuff, if they do things like this or if I'm just weird, but I hate the thought of throwing stuff away, especially if it can serve another purpose. And so I feel like I'm constantly thinking of how to repurpose things and like this little notebook was just so cute. I felt horrible throwing it away. So I was like, I'll just save the <laughs> little rings. So anyway, if you have a planner like this, I think the brand is the Big Happy Planner. I think that's what it seems to be. So if you have one like this and it's held together by little rings, and you like to make sensory bins for your kids, I don't know. Could be an idea. <laughs> so the storage room is an absolute mess, but it's it, like I can't even really begin to go through it. But I did see this box, um, and honestly, like I feel like it'll be easier when we actually do the shelves in there. We can just pull everything out into this room kind of go through it as we're pulling it out and then like that room will be empty and we'll be able to work with it and whatever. Anyways, I think this is all stuff that we were trying to get rid of but we were gonna sell, um, but just like never sold. So I have like a cuckoo kangaroo costume that I wore last year. So, I mean, I put it up for sale before Halloween last year, like a week before and it didn't sell and now I'm putting it up for sale or and then it was still up for sale this year for Halloween and it didn't sell. So I feel like that's a sign that I can just get rid of it. I think this is just extra fabric from a project Adam did. So honestly, I'll probably keep this with all my extra fabric. And then I don't think he was getting rid of this. He got it for $3 at the thrift store. I'll ask him. I think this is his too, so I'll ask him about those. These are a bunch of um, oh. Yeah, like some of these are scores and stuff. Some of them are operas. I don't know where he got these. There's so many of them. So I'll see if he wants these. Maybe he has them for sale. Maybe he just forgot about them. Some of them aren't in great condition. 
So hopefully we can get rid of some of this stuff and like either just donate it or rehouse it. And then that'll be one box empty. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put my costume in the donate box for sure. So another little tip for you if you're decluttering. I have a card that I got actually a few years back, but um, I just found it in my keepsakes. So one thing that I really like to do, for one, I pretty much always throw away the envelopes because they just take up more space. But one thing I like to do is if it's a card, I'm not gonna show you what it says, but if it's a card that's like sentimental, um, you, if you cut it in half, if there's nothing on the back side of the front page, you can give this to someone. You can either like tape it to a gift bag or, you know, whatever, or you can stick it in an envelope and you can just write your own message here. And it's just like a little one page card. So I, for one, I don't have to ever buy cards, like never. I just, yeah, and sometimes people will write on the inside of the front page and then obviously if you wanna keep it, you have to keep the whole thing. And if you wanna get rid of it, you have to throw it away. But I really like this as an option because if you wanna keep the part, like these are handwritten notes, like that kids wrote out for me. Uh, it's not just like a printed card. So if I wanna keep these little, like these little handwritten parts, I can keep those separate and then be able to like re-gift these. And you know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you have like 400 cards like I do, because I keep everything for some reason, um, then it's like it cuts down your card space by half if you cut all the fronts off. Now, obviously, again, like I said, you can't necessarily cut all the fronts off, but if you are looking to declutter and like minimize the things that you have, you can keep the little heartfelt message and reuse the front of the card. So I'm just full of all little tips and tricks today, aren't I? <laughs> How to be a pack rat and keep everything, but also get rid of stuff that's not serving you. all of these markers in the storage room in a bag and wouldn't you know that the box for it is just empty in my little arts and crafts drawer so I'm just gonna shove them all in here Kind of nice because they're paint pens so I can have them upside down but even on the bottom you can see what color it is and it shows you if it's like sparkly or not too. So I can keep them all upside down so that they're not so hard to get activated but still pull out specific ones if I want them. So it wasn't like the biggest transformation ever, but my desk is a lot more clear than it was. And you know, this area down here is a little bit more clear and we're potentially getting rid of all of this. And we're definitely getting rid of all of this. And we have a giant trash bag full as well. So I feel like that was pretty successful um and then especially because we were able to kind of put a lot of the homeschool stuff together that's gonna it's gonna hopefully go in the storage room yeah again kind of an uh, underwhelming transformation but um hopefully you were able to be motivated to declutter some stuff yourself and maybe you even picked up a few ideas along the way so I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.